Hey guys, it's Erin, and today I'm going to be doing a water marbling for dummies video because I am a water marbling dummy and this is what helped me get a pretty good water marble for one of the first times in my life. So these are all my tips for how to make my water marbling better. I am in no way an expert, but I hope these tips help you. So when I'm water marbling, I almost always start out with a white base just to help the colors that I'm going to put on top of it really pop. It's okay if it's not full opacity, you really only need one coat. This is really just supposed to be a base layer for the polish. One of my least favorite parts about water marbling is how messy it is, so I am always sure to use a liquid latex. Just painting that all around my nail and being sure to get up as close to my cuticle as I can. Once that's fully dry, I'm gonna start making my water marble. So I have this little glass bowl that I am using. I filled it with just regular tap water, but one thing that I ended up doing was I made sure that the water wasn't too hot or too cold. This was essentially room temperature water and I think it helped. Then you just want to start dropping your nail polishes onto the surface of the water. I would recommend using slightly newer nail polishes just because you want them to have some thinness to them. Um, if they're too thick and gloopy, they're not going to spread out easily. And if you can tell from this video, I'm really taking my time and letting each ring of the nail polish spread out completely before dropping a new one, um, just so it's not crowded and they really have time to spread out so I have more real estate to do my marble. I ended up using a lot of colors. These are all 10 polishes from the Mooncat Technicolor Dreams collection. And as you can see here, there was a point in time where I felt like the rings weren't spreading enough, so I just took a toothpick and kind of went around the edge of my marble and tried to clear the edge of the water where it was not flowing, just in case there was anything obstructing it. Sometimes it helps move the rings out a little bit and spread them out, and sometimes it doesn't, but just give it a try and see if it helps clean up the water and spread the rings out anymore. Then take a toothpick and start dragging from maybe the third or fourth ring. Don't go from the first one because that one's already probably dry and start dragging the polish in towards the center or really in any direction you like to create a marble. I didn't like how these first two strokes were going so I tried a different area and ended up liking this spot. So then I'm just dipping my nail in the water that's been covered in liquid latex of course. Then you want to start blowing on the water to help the polish on the surface dry a little bit faster. Take a q-tip and start cleaning up that dried polish. It's really important that the surface of the water is completely clear before you take out your nail, otherwise you're going to ruin your marble. Even after your first go of cleaning, it might not be completely clean, so I end up going in with a second q-tip and just make sure that everything is out of the water. Then I'm pulling my finger out. And I can't remember if I saw this tip somewhere, but this is what I do after immediately taking my nail out of the water and the polish is still wet, but I take a toothpick and just outline the edge of my cuticle to kind of break off the line where the nail polish meets the liquid latex. It's hard to describe, but this just always helps get me a cleaner cuticle line. Then once that's separated, I'm taking tweezers and just peeling off the liquid latex. And for any extra cleanup, you can just take a piece of cotton dipped in acetone. Once my water marble is dry, I'm sealing everything in with a top coat. And there you have a water marble nail. Now, a lot of times my water marbles don't quite go to plan, so I want to show you something you can do if it doesn't quite work out, or if you have trouble with the actual process of dipping your nail into the marble. I'm just following the same process of dropping all of my colors one by one into the water. Again, make sure to let them spread in between so you can fit as many rings as possible. It just makes it look like a more complex marble so it looks cooler. And for this pattern, I tried drawing it somewhat symmetrically, so I brought both points into the center. And then I gave up and started doing something different, but I felt like all the little petals of the marble didn't look even, and I didn't really like how it was turning out. So I ended up trying a few different areas and a few different things, but I just wasn't fully sure if I liked how this one turned out, so I let it dry completely on the surface of the water. I probably left this in the water for about an hour, and then I was able to easily pick it up with tweezers. Looking at it a second time, I realized there was a piece of the marble that I liked enough to put it on my nail. So I painted my white nail with a coat of glossy top coat. And then I started using little scissors to trim the piece of the water marble that I liked best. 
While my nail was still tacky, I placed the part of the water marble down onto my nail, pressing it firmly. Then I took the scissors again and trimmed off any big pieces that I wouldn't need. Then with this little cuticle pusher tool, I went around the edge of my cuticle and just really pressed the marble into the edge of my cuticle so I would have a clean line and it would easily break off the rest of this nail polish sheet. You can see it's already starting to separate, but this is why it's actually a really great tip if you're not great at the actual part of water marbling where you have to dip your nail into the water, just let it sit on the surface and let it dry and then manually apply the part you want to your nail. It's also a little bit easier to see exactly what part you're going to get for the marble. So now the marble is stuck on and I'm just taking a small brush dipped in nail polish remover to do any extra cleanup. Press down any edges where I need to. And all that's left to do is to seal everything in and smooth out any imperfections with a coat of top coat. So there's another hack to doing water marble nails and those are all my tips and tricks. I hope you guys found this video helpful and be sure to leave any of your own tips in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment telling me what video you want to see next.